What is going on everybody? Welcome back. Ruben, Texas, All Water Fishing. I am out here today with a very good friend of mine, Eric. We are out in the kayaks today. We just had recently had a lot of rain. So I'm kind of it's kind of up in the air what to really expect. Although right at the launch, I was seeing a few blow-ups. We're seeing some fish work on the grass line. I had a small hit. I know Eric had a pretty good strike too, kind of ripped his lure in half. And but we're gonna see what's going on. I know there's a lot of fresh water. We've seen a lot of bait already. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed, hope for the best. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hopefully you catch me hooking up. <laughs> All right, I'm going to Put a tandem on real fast. I already have a tandem already rigged up. I have a swivel. And I'm going to tie that swivel on right here. I'm going to put the quick uni. Got that uni on. Got my new Danko pliers right here. Cut that tag in off. Where's that tag in right there? Man, these cut so good. Cut that right, bam, like that. Look at that, butter. Cut through it like butter. All right. And we're taking a long time in this. I ain't even to the spot where I want to fish at yet. We're taking way too long. But we're getting ready to, getting ready to crank it up a notch here in a minute and get moving. Let me see. Typically, I like to put, I'm gonna put the heavier weight on bottom for me. Doing a tiny tandem, I'm putting a tandem on. Just trying to look for a lighter weight, a lighter jig head. You wanna put the lighter jig head on bottom, so in case I said weight, my jig head. So we got a lighter one, I mean not. You wanna put the heavier jig head on bottom, and the lighter jig head on top, whenever you are tying a tandem. A quick loop. I don't know what these are called. It's called a little loop knot. These are a little loop for you. Probably can't see me tying. It's alright. There's one. I'll get this other one on right here. Loop. Go through the loop. Jig head there. You want to twist that. I twist, definitely twist like four times. It's the Ozuri 30 pound test right here. So, and then wet it and send it down. There we go. Got our little tandem. Cut off this tag in. Danko. Boop. Tag in gone. and gone all right so i picked up and fished with already these new gulps the gulp has a limited edition shrimp now it looks like everything's kind of knocking on the shad but we're gonna i'm gonna fish with these i'm gonna try them i tried them the other day and i didn't catch anything I, but I, I skunked that day so i'm not putting it on this gulp but they're translucent they look great they they swim well they got a nice movement to them even if you straight retrieve them they have a nice movement to them and I'll show you them here in a second they look great they got a nice movement to them nice little wiggle to their tail I'm gonna put the natural one on and I'm gonna put this pink one on because flounder dig pink <laughs> To the head, and it's a salty head on this one. Nice quarter ounce. And then, I don't even know what this is. This is a really light ounce. This is a big eye chick head. I'm gonna put that pink on top in case a speck wants to come around. Almost got myself. There we go. There's the tandem. And 
we're gonna test our luck. This had a nice little boil right here, a little swirl. Little boil. Looked like a, a red just boiled. Could have scared him. Let's see if we can get him to bite though. There we go! Like a red, <clears throat> small guy. Uh, maybe about 19. Let's see, I'm gonna get this guy up. Just had a boil right in front of me, so cast and he picked it up, started swimming with it. Still very green. Still very green guy. There we go. Nice little red. There we go. Nice little red. It's probably about 18 inches. Got him on that. On that gope. That new gope. Ooh, careful guy. Nice little guy. See that new gulp in his mouth right there. He's gonna be undersized. Let's get our pliers out. Get that off real fast. Dang, he was not coming off. Ooh, he hit that hard. Nice Dan Coles. I'm gonna lip him to secure him a little better because I want to get a measure on him. I always like to try to measure fish early on so I kind of get my eye adjusted right to what I'm looking at to know if uh, something be around 18, 19, or 20 inches. But this guy's definitely undersized with the board because we won't be keeping this guy. Save the slime. And let's see where he's going to be at. Oh, he is right on the money. 20 inch. Almost 20 and a quarter. Remeasure right on the money, 20 inches. Nice little 20 guy. He's kind of thin though. We're gonna let him go. We're gonna let the little baby go. Let him get a little bigger. He's gone. Let me just show you these shoes real fast. I just picked these nice kicks up. Nice shoes. They feel great. Picked them on Amazon. They got some really nice tread to them. I like that little look, you know, I'm an Adidas kind of guy, so they're not Adidas, but I do like that look. Don't have to worry about tying or them coming untied. I know that's a problem with a couple pair of my shoes that I have. So I picked these guys up. I'll leave a link below in case you guys are interested. These are pretty inexpensive. They feel great. Nice little sole. And we're going to see how they hold up. Uh, just This is my first time wearing them, and it really feels really comfortable. I wouldn't necessarily wade fish in these, like if I'm in the real soft water, but definitely on the beach and definitely in a kayak, you know, you can definitely rock these guys. Two fish and that lure's done. Yeah. My lure is done. It's barely hanging on. There we go. Start that crap. <laughs> Little rat red. Uh. All right, got that little guy. Caught him on that pink one as well. That pink coat. Little guy. Look at that tail. Look at that. Look like two eyes and a little mouth. Look at that. Three spots on that side. Three spots on each side. Very little guy. He's ready to go in this tandem you know the water clarity eric and i were talking about this water clarity we're not really too sure how well they can see these translucent lures i'm i'm really not convinced that they can see them at all looks like that's the third time that pink one got hit and nothing's hitting on this that um the natural one because it really just blends in too much in the water so i'm gonna take it off and 
put something to look for. I think I have a little darker one. Yeah, I have a little darker. Darker lure. A little dark. It might they might be able to see it, they might not, I'm not too sure, but Nice little rat red. Mm -hmm. Easy, baby. Born and raised. What'd you get him on? Uh, rage swimmer. Rage swimmer. Rage swimmer. All right, so that's gonna do it today. You know what? Today was kind of no, really no big deal. I got one nice red, mm -hmm. just right at 20 inches. Got a few other small fish. I uh, lost like three nice flounder. One was really nice. I felt that guy. And he was big, he pulled drag, and I lost him not setting the hook. Eric, man, you know, Eric was able to get one small red on, and I want to think he lost like five fish today. He really did. It's I, I feel bad for him. Eric, I'm sorry, guy, you know, um, but it happens to us all. But you know, I had a great day, a wonderful day out here. It's always fun coming out with your friends and fishing, so. Anyway, you know, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. And hopefully I'll be able to see you back out here real soon. Thanks.